If you're a video editor considering the Asus Zephyrus G14, then you found the perfect video. Let's jump right into some benchmarks, and then we're gonna talk about the thermals to see if Asus has improved upon last year's generation of this laptop, which was kind of poor in thermal performance. Now, first and foremost, let's jump into the drop frame test. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, a 16,177 frame project into Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna play it back at full quality. This laptop had zero dropped frames and even on silent mode. So if you go into the Asus control center and you turn the laptop on to silent mode, it still had zero drop frames. However, I did pull out the eight gig Ram stick and found that I did have some more drop frames using this laptop with only eight gigs. So if you're considering this laptop and you say, I'm going to save some money and go for the eight gig model, know that you will have dropped frames. Now, if you increase to 24 gigs of Ram, or even 40 gigs of RAM, you're going to continue to have zero drop frames. So this laptop with the new Ryzen 9 5900HS and the RTX 3060 is a great combo for editing inside of Premiere Pro. Now inside of DaVinci Resolve, it saw very smooth playback in Resolve. Um, though there's not a drop frame indicator, the playback was smooth. Now for the export, you can see that the 4K export out of Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve were good. Now as you see, the one out of DaVinci Resolve is a little bit longer, and that's just due to the fact that I'm using the free version of DaVinci Resolve rather than the paid version. The paid version utilizes more of the GPU encoding, which makes it a faster export time. Now, if you're somebody that uses After Effects alongside of Premiere Pro, you can see that this laptop just slays it in After Effects. So this will be a great laptop to run After Effects and Premiere Pro simultaneously. Now, one thing to note that if you're exporting out of Premiere Pro, you're going to see about 52 decibels of fan noise. But if you put it in silent mode, you'll drop down to 44 decibels, but you'll still get almost the exact same export time, about three minutes and 39 seconds. So whether you're plugged into your power cable and you're just running silent mode or you're on battery and you want to run silent mode to save some battery, know that you will still have great performance in the playback as well as the export times. In silent mode, I saw 42 decibels. In performance mode, 48 decibels. And in turbo mode, 52 decibels during the export out of Premiere Pro. Now, in the intro of this video, one of my main concerns I mentioned was, have they improved the thermal performance of this laptop from last year's model? Well, I'm happy to report that it runs about 10 degrees or more cooler than the last year's model with the 4900HS. So not only does this laptop have great performance, but it's gonna run substantially cooler than last year's model. Being that this all aluminum laptop totes a 100% sRGB color accurate screen, it makes it a fantastic buy for the on the go video editor. If this video has brought you some value, then gently press down on that like button. And if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Until next time, my name is Benji Kaiser. Keep editing, keep designing, keep creating, and I'll see you here in the next video.